because of the cord. It was all the cord. It's because the cord is hanging straight down and going over and it's a cheap unshielded gu guitar cord that I got from one of those guitars I bought. It doesn't matter who you buy it from. You get a cheap cord. They just give you the cord. Doesn't matter if it's a Gibson or a this. This came with a cord. Same cheap kind of cord. You have to use the big, what do you call them? used to buy them all the time. They're called something cable, something whatever. You have to buy good shielded cords or go wireless. And wireless, that brings in a whole different set of problems that I never wanted to deal with when I was playing. Because in the 80s, you had to spend a grand or more for an 80 wireless, and you never knew what you were going to pick up. Because my bass player had one, and he would pick up CVs or radios never knew <laughs> but it would come blasting out of his friggin base cabinet so I've said no I'll just stick with my big thick shielded guitar cables and it worked fine it's got to get long ones real long uh I don't really know what to play because I really I just wanted to prove to you that I figured out the uh, noise problem and uh, really that's it I'm supposed to be at a Christmas party right now really I'm trying to get into the mood but that mood isn't really easy to get into when you don't have kids anymore I mean my son's okay, my son's 34 and he's doing his own thing he lives in another state and I was gonna go see him but I still might. I don't know what's going to happen because I think I told you all that I bought this guitar off eBay and the guy scammed me. He was a friggin' fisher, I guess you'd call him. And he bought the, he, I paid for the guitar, which was $320. He took out $290 and then he was in the wind. <laughs> but I saw his shipmate go from New Hampshire to New Mexico. So I called eBay. They looked at it and they said, no, it went from New Mexico to New Mexico. And I looked back at the shipping thing and then it changed. I'm like, okay, we got a problem. I want my money back. Oh, you'll get it back. And I did. So the EVH guitar, the star I was going to get, nope, because I couldn't pay for it. Card was gone. Uh, so, and that other guitar, that was just a scam. And I'd love to have that guitar, but apparently he just pulled the picture off online and somewhere. Because and, I have a bass exactly like it. It's an old Warlock BC Rich with leopard skin, leopard spots. It was my old bass player who's dead. So if I could get the guitar, that'd be cool. But apparently it was all just a hoax just to get my information. But he didn't get anything. He didn't. He's at. He's big time in trouble. The feds are on him. This is bad because he. Uh, I, I demanded that the bank and eBay get together, and they are, and they're tracking this guy down because it's possible he's done this 20 times. So. And I don't even use PayPal because on PayPal, one time I got forty-six thousand dollars taken out of my account. Whoop, out of my savings account because they had my routing number. Because with PayPal, you got to give them everything. I'm like, screw you. So I just do it, and if people don't take PayPal, screw them. I don't need their product. 
I just give them my debit card because that way I'm more protected. That's advice to you guys that buy stuff on eBay. You know, obviously I buy too much crap on eBay. Uh, there you go. Nothing here, actually. The effects. No, not the effects. All these effects I bought new. These amps I bought new. I only buy uh, weird stuff on eBay. Nothing that I can show you. <laughs> so there you go. Every, other than that, it's Amazon, 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 Amazon. And my friend works for Amazon, so. All right. it is very happy thank you uh whoever you were i'll he's like i don't mean to you know be rude or whatever but <laughs> you're friggin noisy man and i couldn't hear it i'd actually gotten used to it i thought now well, something an effect is going out i don't know but it is pretty noisy but it was really noisy on the friggin videos so thank you but you know to uh, Dick Kilbasa, he's like, yeah, I think you little need a little more distortion in, in chorus. Shove it. When I played out, I didn't use any effects except for a little preamp to help boost the uh, Marshall to give it that extra punch. And that was the best sounding amp on the effing strip. People would come by and like, Dude, that amp, that's incredible. And it's there's a lot of reasons why my White Marshall Anniversary Series, is it like 82, 83, sounds so good because it's got the basic Plexi uh, circuit board in it. It's just a new case, but it's basically the Plexi. And then when I had the, you know, EL34s and other, you know, had it modded, it just sounded unbelievable. It did. It was just, I'm like, oh my gosh, I sound so good. Why can't, I wish I could play better. Because, you know, rhythms I had down, I was playing a lot. This, because you got to remember, I can't feel, and this is all a miracle that you're witnessing, that I can even play. So I try not to look, because I want to train myself to kind of get the feeling of where things are and blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's just play and then I'll uh, stop. <laughs> Subscribe, please. I'm up a little and then I go down and then I go up and I go down. 
I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? Play naked? If you want me to play naked, say yes. I'll do it. I'll play in a G string. I'll play upside down. I will play with different parts of my body. My nose. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs>
keep it metal, and keep on subscribing. Randy Rhodes lesson number seven, right here. Subscribe. Late.